So, plainly put, the tension is a heavily political horror game that becomes more sociological the more it advances. It's like if you lived in the universe of La Chorona, you know, that spooky bitch, uh, <laughs> you could run into a frequently terrifying monster every other corridor. But throw in some political turmoil and the Taiwan freedom movement against China. Yeah. Attention is a horror sociological political hit piece on the Chinese government <laughs> that discusses the effect of guilt and immoral, immoral nationalism. America, baby! <laughs> and as much as I want to distance myself from talking politics on this channel, I might have to drop a couple historical facts about political events on this video because that's what the game is about. I, I just can't avoid it. Let's just get straight to the point. This game is barely a horror game in the conventional sense, to be honest. Which, if you've seen a pattern of the content in the channel so far, must be a refreshing taste. <laughs> the game starts with the usual point-and-click horror game tropes, you know, PNG jump scares, survival dread, uh, like the crippling fear of your past choices. Oh, that, that last one's just me? Oh. But as the game develops, the monsters start appearing less and less, and you start seeing other things that, although not monstrous in appearance, they are monstrous Definitely in essence. This game tackles some heavy stuff like what I just sort of just casually mentioned in the intro bits of this video And honestly, it's best if you stay as clueless as possible uh, Whenever you want to play this game because when that shit starts goddamn it hits like a truck much like you are Mario Night Alone They previously plainly put go check it out this game uses the horror genre to deliver on much more however while your Mario gives you a trippy trip down Silent Hill the attention gives you a trippy trip down the Taiwanese resistance. This game is set during the era at Taiwan where uh, they were fighting against the Chinese, the, Ch the Chinese, <laughs> they were fighting against China for independence. And just like many fights for independence, goddamn is it fucking bleak. This game is full of puzzles that tell a much bigger story than it leads on to on paper, and both as a political statement and as a personal one. This is one of the few games that has managed to rattle the singular loose screw in my head in order to think as to what it all means as a bigger picture. This episode of Playing the Put doesn't have as many jokes as the usual, because to be honest, it's hard to make this shit funny. <laughs> the game, this game is artistry at its finest, using a medium to convey more than just the experiences through it, but as well as experiences and emotions that I've never lived through myself, like the time when he's resistance. <laughs> this also means that it has the negatives of artistry as well. You know, very vague and deep writing, uh, references to mythology you're just supposed to know in order to get the context of things, and the occasional acid trip. You know, like every artist goes through, am I right? At first, this game feels sort of like any other point-and-click horror game, but please stick through it because the game is truly a gem in this genre. And in many ways, goes places that most horror games in the most R-rated genre of all time are too afraid to go to, even years after the release of Detention. So much so that the only other game that comes to mind that does something even remotely similar to this game, not only is it made uh, as the spiritual successor by the same studio, which is called Devotion, uh, which is not only the most banned video game of all time because of that, it's what we're covering next week. Thank you all so very much for watching, I appreciate every single one of you from being here. Uh, with that said, hit like, subscribe, turn on bell for notifications because apparently subscribing means nothing. Although it does help me eventually reach a thousand subscribers and being able to make community posts, which if you know what's going on, you, if, if you know, you know. With that said, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and uh, go to the Discord because uh, we have a lot of fun in there. And that's where I post most things, to be honest. Uh, with that said, Papa Bless, all the love, and I'll see you next week. See ya!